right it's been a couple of weeks uh, i just got off of, off of work it is friday i am headed to sb machine shop to pick up my head i am very excited uh, when we get there we will have albert explain a little bit of what he did to my head um, and then i need to source a head gasket and some head studs and the car will be back up and running I still have to do uh, the powder coat work and the Cerakote work, um, and then we'll go ahead and get up and going. Um, but yeah, about to jump on the freeway right now and head to SB Machine Shop, so let's go. So I finally lifted the rear of my truck, so now it looks nice and even. But anyways, we made it over here, SB Machine Shop. Albert drives a Tacoma 2. His is a 4x4 model. Mine's only a two wheel drive. But, anyways, let's come in here and uh, let's pick up my head. So, I've got Albert here who owns SB What's Machine up, Shop. How you doing? So, Give us a little rundown of what you did to my head after I fucked it up. So what we did with the head, uh, the way you fucked up the head was <laughs> it dropped something one of the cylinders. So you went ahead and did the oversized valves. Um, when it comes to the F20 heads, there are no uh, super tech valves available. So what we do is we go ahead and run the super tech valves. And so in order for us to run the super tech valves, like you see here, this is this valve is a little bit bigger uh, than the uh, than the F, F, F series valves. So we oversized it in our Rottler machine. Uh, we introduced the Super Tech exhaust valve. Uh, this helps with the boost that you're gonna run in your car. Uh, so basically we uh, did the valve job, oversized on the intake, resurfaced. Uh, we cleaned it up with the vapor hone. And we installed new seals, the springs. So you'll be good to go, man. Um, this job right here is pretty basic. Uh, we can get more in depth, but uh, this is what you chose to do, but the, she will do it. That's what I could afford until them YouTube checks start nah, coming in. Nah, she'll do, she'll do. <laughs> uh, shout out to Supertech, uh, always bringing us some good products for any cylinder heads that we need, uh, Honda, anything. Um, and shout out to Nippin Racing for providing the parts. Yes, sir. And that's it. That's, that's it. all I got. I gotta drink a beer now, man. <laughs> Character done. Character done. <laughs> shout out to SB Machine Shop. If you guys need any machine work done, be sure to hit them up. I'll put their Instagram right here if you guys don't follow them already. Um, but yeah, so next step, order head gasket, head studs, and assemble everything. And uh, hit the dyno one more time to make sure everything is fine. So let's go. So I got my head back from the machine shop. I need to just put on the uh, VTEC solenoid, the little sensors. Um, I put this plug here. It looks much better than what was on there before. Uh, this is what was on there before, but uh, shout out to Alex who told me about this plug. Um, so I put a little bit of Honda Bond, put the crush washer, tightened it down, um, cleaning up the VTEC solenoid. Uh, just going to put a little bit of Honda Bond so that it can go ahead and seal properly and uh, you know just tighten it down. And hopefully uh, got the head gasket and the head studs ordered so we can get this thing up and going. My brother made me this table, which you know has been coming in clutch, working on the head and stuff. So this is pretty cool. Um, not, you know, not an ideal work area, but I mean, just to show you guys, you can get it done without a shop or a garage. So I'm removing the stock uh, exhaust manifold studs, you can see, so I can go ahead and uh, force myself to order the titanium studs. Um, so just double nutting it, putting one nut here, tightening it up, and then using another nut, and then just tightening them up together and pulling it out. So it's Wednesday. Um, I just got off of work. I'm not working at the shop today. Um, I had already placed the order for the head studs and I'm waiting on my head gasket to come in. Um, but Summit Racing has like super fast shipping. I ordered these on Sunday and they got here Tuesday. Um, obviously it took Monday to process the order. Um, but got my ARP head studs. I had already opened the package so just to check them out see what the heck is uh is in the box so ARP head studs comes with the instructions 
and uh, the head shells are here. Pretty cool. It's got the uh, washers and the uh, 12 point nuts and the head studs. Pretty cool. Uh, I've never bought these before, but uh, pretty cool. So I'm excited to get everything going. Uh, my head's gasket should be here Thursday or Friday. Uh, shout out to my boy Rick for uh, taking care of me as always. He got that on order for me. Um, the head gasket was special order from, from Honda. I guess it was coming from the East Coast, which I'm actually surprised that they had the F20B gasket, um, seeing as that's a Japan only thing. Um, but nonetheless, uh, just wanted to you know show you guys little by little. I know this vlog might take a while to come out, um, but just know that I am working on the stuff. Um, so I got a new radiator set up. I could guess I could show you guys that. Um, I got a new radiator set up, and I got this little eight-inch spall fan. Um, I got you know some some black wire mesh, and I got it with some yellow heat shrink. I deep pinned the connector, made it look all nice. Um, I need to actually pull off my harness and do the rest of it like this, so I can clean it up. Um, actually, I should be doing that now, um, but. I am tired from work um, but yeah I've got my head here I got the manifold on um, just waiting on the head gasket I'm debating on if I should do uh, cam gears just because they look cool um, so I'm not really sure on that if I want to spend like 250 300 bucks on cam gears alone um, but I, I kind of want to do it so we'll see I might just get impatient and just drop in with the current stock cam gears and uh, just to get it going. But um, yeah, I'm excited. I should be getting everything back from Powder Coat sometime this week. And uh, you know, I already asked Isaac if he can come down and give me a hand uh, putting the headsets on. He's got a really fancy uh, torque wrench, um, so that'll be good for uh, that'll be good. That'll be some good help. Um, but yeah. Got the head here covered up, manifold on, like I said. Just uh, waiting on the head gasket. Um, I'm working on this real quick. So here are the cam gears that I got for it. Uh, I wanted to do the half moon uh, cuts. So I got a new Dremel. Gonna use that to clean this up. I'd use the whole saw. Um, I should have came down a little bit lower, but it's all good. Um, but I got the cam gears here. And then I've got the ARP head studs. So we're ready for more boost. And uh, the head studs, got the OEM gasket. Um, I asked Albert what gasket he would recommend. He said OEM is fine. He barely took anything off when he resurfaced the head. So OEM gasket is fine. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I got cam gears, a uh, new gasket. I went with super tech valves, and then I've got the uh, ARP head studs. So I went to O'Reilly's, got a few things. Uh, got some simple green, got you know the big tub of tubbo towels. These things work great if you're trying to clean stuff. Some uh, brake parts cleaner, and some WD-40. So um, the other thing that I did is I cleaned up my engine harness. Um, I was going to film this, but I just kind of got um, discouraged because I couldn't figure out how to use a tool, but I ended up figuring it out. But uh, yeah, it did just, you know, heat shrink, mesh, and uh, I depinned all of these, pulled them out all one by one, and, uh, you know, just cleaned up my harness. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the block, I'm going to take off the trans, I'm going to put the block on an engine stand so I can go ahead and assemble the uh, engine on a stand. Um, that way I can go ahead and clean everything up and stuff like that. I might just do all the seals again because it's leaking. Um, the trans, I'm going to clean it up. Uh, maybe pull off the starter, clean that up. Uh, really scrub down the engine bay in here. Uh, that way everything is nice and clean. So we'll pretty much be starting from, from, from scratch. And that's fine. Um, but, you know, it'll probably take me about two, three weeks to get it all done. But I'm going to get it done. So... For now, uh, I need to finish draining the transmission fluid 
and then I need to figure out how to get all this coolant out of here I think there is a freeze plug somewhere or like a drain plug or something but I'll figure that out um, and I will get this onto an engine stand so let's get started so I've got the engine out of the car um, I'm gonna have to take off this pressure plate and the flywheel I don't know if I'm gonna take off this uh, adapter plate for the H2B setup to get it on the engine stand but uh, yeah I'm making some progress uh, got a little modelo to uh, help out but uh, yeah making some progress let's, uh, let's keep going alright so quick update the engine block is now on the engine stand um, I was able to get it through with the plate uh, whether or not this is fine I don't know I hope so I think it should be fine um, so uh, yeah the uh, like I said the engine block is on the stand it's got some rust here it's just from letting it out while it rains and stuff uh, so I was told just take some WD-40 scrub it down and it should be fine uh, what I'm gonna do I am gonna take off the mount here uh, take off the timing cover and uh, see which uh, components are leaking and then um, I'm gonna clean the surface of the block uh, the gunk and stuff remove it and then I'm gonna simple green the entire block scrub it down and uh, but I'll do that once the head is on that way nothing goes into the uh, into the coolant chambers or into the pistons and stuff like that um, you can tell there's like uh, like little divots and stuff I was told to sand those down because you don't want sharp edges on the piston um, so these little things here are actually from the throttle body screw uh, in the previous vlog I think I you know I was like oh where the heck did that thing go um, but now I know where it went so it went into here and not the exhaust so um, yeah but anyways gonna take this timing cover off and uh, my friend Isaac's gonna come down and help me torque down the head I haven't seen him in quite a few months so I wanted to see if he wanted to come down give me a hand and just hang out like we used to uh, back in the day um, so really miss doing stuff like that with him uh, so hopefully you know we can uh, get this all taken care of so at least if the head is on I can still do all the other gaskets and seals and stuff um, but for sure the head studs are going on today uh, after I clean up the block okay so I forgot to film when Isaac was here but we've got my head gasket on we've got the ARP head studs on Oh man, I got the hiccups. And got my cam gears on. Well, the whole head is assembled. Um, I've got the uh, this area taken apart. I'm going to be resealing the balance shaft seal, uh, the crank seal, um, the cam seals, and the uh, oil pump o-ring so in the meantime while i'm waiting for those parts to come in i'm gonna go ahead and just simple green all this i want to clean up the block maybe hit it with the wire brush or something just to try to clean it up uh, my transmission is also really dirty so i'm gonna clean this up as well um but yeah so making making some progress um so i might have to purchase a new clutch um because there is some wear on it there um, you can see some hot spots from pretty much just driving it in the clutch slipping from uh, you know just making all the power that it makes uh, so I'm probably gonna have to uh, order a new clutch maybe I'll give this one away it still has a lot of life in it um, but um, it's just it's just slipping and it's too much for my application so maybe i'll just give it away to somebody on instagram um but yeah so the engine is uh pretty much back together so, pretty cool so the engine has been put back together um got some dash 16 fittings here and uh dash 16 fitting here so the engine setup is stock internally, cams are stock. Um, the only upgrade that I did was Supertech valves and ARP head studs. Um, I did cam gears 
just so that it can look better and um yeah but uh, isaac came over he gave me a hand and uh helped me clean this up um there's a sneak peek at the colorway um the valve cover and uh, everything else is still getting uh powder coated um but this is uh i'm liking where this is going it looks really nice once it's all together um but yeah so the engine is all put back together we're almost there i've got my uh, gaskets and seals all um ordered up just waiting for them to come in um, one thing that i did to this though uh to clean it up uh besides the dash 16 fittings um i got some npt fittings for this so i drilled them out and uh you know tapped it and put plugs here and there um just to clean it up a little bit and uh yeah so pretty exciting um but we're almost there we're almost there a huge shout out to sb machine shop for getting my head all ready for me um they did an amazing job on it and uh yeah I can't, i'm excited to get it up and running and uh tune it uh this time we're gonna be sending it on uh on 10 pounds of boost so we'll see what she does okay so i'm now this footage is now present time um this is uh march 31st that i'm filming this and uh i decided i'm going to paint the engine bay um all of the powder coating stuff looks awesome and i feel like the engine bay is gonna bug me if i don't do it so i'm gonna spend some time and do the engine bay um no shave no tuck no nothing like that just strip it all down and uh and just paint it again you know like all this stuff here here strut towers you know back there there strut towers again over here where the charge pipes go into you know i feel like i can i can just uh you know respray it and um you know like that i feel like i can respray it and uh that'll be it no more um you know this is this if if i don't do the bay this is going to be an eyesore compared to everything else so let me show you guys what i got going on over here um so i got my wheel and caliper set up this is a uh, front and rear did a neon yellow caliper lava gray wheel uh, neon yellow valve stems same thing goes for the rear neon yellow calipers lava gray wheel and the uh, neon yellow valve stems so over here where I keep my engine got my manifold seracoded got my downpipe seracoded got my turbo got my turbo all put back together and this is seracoded as well Got my manifold seracoded, fuel rail done, throttle body done. I disassembled this and huge shout out to my boy Raul for helping me put this back together. I stripped out one of these bolts. Um, I don't know if it was due to the powder or whatever, but we had to pretty much fix the thread on it. Um, and I thought I was gonna have to buy a new one, but Raul saved my ass. So thank you, Raul. But uh, yeah, so throttle body's put back together. Um, engine i'm gonna paint the engine block and the head so it all looks new and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna look good once everything is all done um so the engine bay is definitely going to be an eyesore so that means the car is not going to be done as soon as i wanted it to be done uh, but that's okay because there really is no rush to get it going um, and I'm doing this at my own pace. I want to finally just be at a level with the car where I don't have to want to do something else in a sense. Um, but yeah, so it's now March 31st. Like I said, 
um, I will be dropping this vlog um, I don't know maybe Friday hopefully but um, yeah there's there's there that's where we're at with the car um, I can go ahead and drop everything in but I just want to do it all the way that I want to do it and without really rushing it plus um, I still need to buy a few more things so it's not like even if the engine was in I would be able to drive the car um, so that being said uh, I appreciate it I appreciate the support on the channel um, I know there's still a few of you guys that are interested in the build um, sorry I've been slacking on YouTube um, but I just uh, kind of been taking it slow um, but now that I'm doing the engine bay, that's even more content that I can film for you guys And I hope you guys are going to be looking forward to that um, And I'll show you guys all the steps that I'm taking for the engine bay and uh, hopefully you guys can apply those to your vehicle You know, we learn together we grow together and we build together. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out